Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you set up a stop loss or automatically selling your stock once it reaches down to a certain level. So what we want to do from the homepage of the Robinhood app is scroll down and find the stock that we want to set up this stop loss for. So let's say I wanted to do this for Johnson & Johnson. So I opened that one up. And in the asset that you'd like to set up this stop loss for is what you want to do is click on where it says trade and then click on sell. And then here in the upper right hand corner where it says dollar with this little drop down, we want to click on that up here. And that's going to open up a number of different options that we have here. So we go down to conditional orders and most of you guys are probably looking for the stop order. And that's if whatever asset that you had selected for me, it was Johnson & Johnson falls to a fixed stop price. It's going to trigger a market sell. So when I open that up. It shows an example of what this is. So you have the stock price where it is right now. Maybe you don't want it to go below a specific amount. And Johnson & Johnson stock price right now is at $176 around there. Maybe I don't want that to go below $150 and I'd want to sell at that point to protect myself against it going any lower than that. So then what you do is click continue at the bottom and then you enter in your stop price. And again, this is what it's going to sell at. And it has to be lower than what the current market price is for the asset that you had selected. So I put that stop price at $150. So if it gets down to that amount, it will sell. So then I can click continue. And then you can set a time for this to be enforced. There's a couple of different options here. I can have it for just one trading day, good till closed. Or the other option here is good until canceled up to 90 days. And I'm going to select that option so that this stop loss is going to be good and in effect for the next 90 days. And then you need to enter in how many shares you want this to be for. I only have one share of Johnson & Johnson, so I can just enter in one right there. The stop price, 150 The estimated credit, of course, would be 150 And then you can click review. And it'll have your order summary here at the bottom where it says you are placing a good till canceled stop order to sell however many shares of the asset that you had selected. When the price of those shares reaches $150, your order will be converted to a market order. And if everything looks good to you, you can swipe up from the bottom to submit your stop loss order. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how you go about setting up a stop loss order so that you can automatically sell your shares at a certain price when it potentially gets down to that number. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.